Western culture as it exists now is the marriage of Greek culture and Judeo-Christian morality and ideas. It's basically the marriage of, you know, Jesus, Plato, Socrates, Moses, you know, Paul, and the amalgamation that that created uh, is what really defines Western culture. What we're really trying to explore is Paul's relationship to the culture. There's a fundamental idea, which I think makes a lot of sense, which is that some, you know, approximately 49 AD, and by approximately, I mean either 49 or 50, so we can get that down to a really tight window. As far as recorded documented history goes, this is the first time that the gospel of Jesus Christ that Christianity uh, entered Europe. Um, now, it is it is possible, even likely, that there are people who had become believers, you know, in the Holy Land or in Syria or in parts of what is now Turkey, uh, Anatolia, ha had had crossed over to here. I, I, I'd say that's highly likely, uh, maybe even certainly happened. Um, but as far as like an apostle, a minister of the gospel coming here with the intention of planting churches and spreading the gospel, Paul is the arrival you know, here. And, you know, for most of our listeners, you know, unless we have the, you know, a few random, I don't know about them listeners um, who trace their Christian heritage to something like the Egyptian Coptic church or the um, Ethiopian Orthodox church, or, you know, some of these non-Western churches. Um, you know, if you're Catholic or Protestant, evangelical, then the birth of the churches that you owe your lineage to dates to this event. Paul showed up in a completely non-Christianized Europe and brings the gospel. And, and he's introducing the gospel to Western culture. Okay. Now, Western culture as it exists now is the marriage of of Greek culture and Judeo-Christian morality and ideas. It's basically the marriage of, you know, Jesus, Plato, Socrates, Moses, you know, Paul, and the amalgamation that that created uh, is what really defines Western culture. So obviously at the time of Paul, the Judeo-Christian component of modern Western culture hadn't been introduced yet, but the Greco-Roman part was here. And, and so there's a huge amount, like, I mean, a lot of correspondence. Now there's significant differences as well, you know, because I, you know, I would argue strongly and we'll probably use in a concluding episode that, that Christianity and Paul's ideas, you know, caused radical, radical change uh, to Western culture. You know, when you think about things like, uh, human rights and women's rights and uh, a lot of the ways we think about good and evil and, and you know, our, our morality, our moral structure, uh, the fact that the weak should be treated well. You know, a lot of those ideas have their origin with Paul and, and with the early Christians. But then there's a lot of things about our culture that really have their origins with um, with with the Greeks, you know, and we'll, we'll have a whole conversation about that you know, in a later episode about how Greek culture was a lot like ours. So it's, it's very different and also very similar, which is weird, but true, I think. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click like and subscribe. It really helps us. And if you really enjoyed it, go on over to our website, thelandofthebible.com and become a supporter. It helps us generate more content and gives you access to our full library of video and Bible study content.